He got a red crown from his son's room and a hammer and a nail and went to the woods. He found a black walnut tree and drew a picture of Addie Fitch on it. He made an X where her heart was, like his grandpa had said, to do with the hammer and he drove the, the nail a little way into the X. Then he went home. I feel like a fool, he told his wife. You should, she said. The next day, a boy named Timmy Logan came by Addie. Addie Fitchin isn't feeling well. He says she wonders if you could borrow some sugar from you. Bill Nelson started at Timmy in am- amazement. He took a deep breath and told her, Tell her I'm sorry, but I don't have any sugar right now. He said. When Timmy Logan left, Bill went back to the walnut tree and drew a nail in another inch. The next day, the boy was back. Addie Fish is pretty sick, he said. She's wondering if you got any sugar yet. Tell her I'm sorry, Bill Nelson said, but I still don't have any. Bill went out into the woods and drove the nail into another inch. The following day, the boy was back. Addie Fish is getting sicker, he said. She really needs some sugar. Tell her I still don't have any, Bill answered. Bill's wife was angry. You got to stop this, she said. If this mumbo jumbo works, it's like murder. I'll stop when he does, he said. Toward dusk, he stood in the yard, staring at the ridge where the boy, old, when old lady lived, wondering what was going on up there. Then, in the half darkness, he saw Addie Fitch coming slowly down the hill towards him.